baby girl What's your name? Let me talk to you Let me buy you a drink I'm T-Pain You know me I'm big music nappy boy I know the club Goes at three What's the chances of you rolling with me? Back to the grid Show you how I live Let's get drunk and forget it, what we did it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you are with that, you're in the right place. Now today is $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs and fashion for the $20 price range and below. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you because y'all have been very patient with $20 Tuesday. I know it took a little unforeseen hiatus. I haven't done it in over a month now. I just want to let y'all know that I have not forgotten about y'all. I'm here. I'm finally sitting down after doing a lot of traveling. And I was like, let me get a video out to my girls because y'all are my YouTube family. I miss $20 Tuesday. And I've been trying some cute wigs lately, so I gotta come and give y'all tea. We're gonna talk about this wig on my head right here that I now have in like, what, four colors? If you've been following me on Instagram and TikTok, you might have seen them. Definitely make sure you follow me over there because I'm very active on both platforms. Especially TikTok. I'm trying to build my following over there. I want to build a community there. We just reached 6,000 followers over there recently. I'm really happy about that. So if you're from the YouTube family, consider checking out my TikTok, y'all. I appreciate it. Also, y'all, thank you so much for everyone who sent out prayers for my auntie. Oh my God, I showed her your comments. She was elated. <laughs> She was so grateful that she even thought to pray for her. Some of you may know that she was diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer. They had to do some removals and reconstruction, but everything turned out well, and she's been recovering for the past month and a half. So that's been great. Really thankful for that because my auntie is my second mom. So, you know, she, she's in there for your girl. So it means a lot that y'all were trying to be there for her. All right, y'all, there's one more thing I need to tell y'all before we get into the details of this wig and before I show you how I, you know, cut it up. I'm doing my first official wig sale. Yay! I've done a few of them on Instagram last year. I did it and then I did one recently. But I was like, it's time for me to get my website out, is that your hair.com? Because I've been really slacking on it, um, slash being too much a perfectionist. And I guess that's just the perils of being like that. You know, you want things to be so perfect, so like laid out a certain way to the point where it prevents you from putting the product out, which is not okay. So I finally just said, Gladys, get your shit together. You're putting your website out in July, okay? <laughs> Once you sit down, you're gonna sit down and do it. And I finally have been adding my wigs to my website for sale. So having my first official wig sale, it's going to start Wednesday, July 20th. Hopefully you will enjoy the wigs that I have up there. They're definitely gently used. Most of them I've worn only once for a review, some of them twice. And then there are some on there that I've never worn before. I haven't worn wigs a long time, y'all. And I am so tired of seeing some of these wigs that I know that I'm never going to wear again because it's only one me. Like, it's only one me. I was like, you know what? They deserve a better home. And I'm happy for y'all to come grab them. Please read through my FAQ section. Read through my privacy policy. I haven't updated my terms of services yet, but read through what's there. I will also put my FAQ section in my description box of this video so that way you all are clear on what the wig sale is about. I'm not holding any wigs. What you see is what is available. You'll also notice that some synthetic wigs are sold in a bundle, meaning there'll be two or three wigs in one bundle. So that means they're sold together. There's no mix matching. Whatever bundle's in there, that is what's in that purchase. Shipping should cost like around $9.50, $10, just depends. Other than that, everything else is in the description box. Please read through it, please, please. Please. Right now, as you watch this video, the website will be available for you to view, but it won't be available for you to shop until Wednesday, July 20th. Okay, just wanna emphasize that. So feel free to check out isthatyourhair.com just to see what wigs are coming up, see the preview of what's available. I'll probably add a few more before this wig site goes live. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy the sale. All right, y'all, back to this wig. Y'all know that I love me some Amazon, I love me a wig from Amazon and this is no exception this is this is gorgeous I feel like on camera it looks brighter than it does in person but if I'm in the Sun it's definitely gonna look bright like this so this makes sense this copper color ooh, it's giving me life it's giving me life let me know what you think in the comments I haven't worn a curly fro like this in a minute in a hot minute 
So it's nice to have, you know, this style back again. This is one of my top five hairstyles ever. So I love natural textures and I love when I can do a bang. Of course, it did not come like this out the pack, but I will say this did not take a ton of work. But I know y'all are like, well, girl, sis, like, how did you do it? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you because guess what? I have it in this color. <laughs> so I have it in four colors, right? I have it in this. I have it in a 1B color, which I'll show you. I have it in this like number four-ish color with some, it kind of has like a blondish look in the sun. And I have it in that bright green color, an emerald green. Y'all were really, really liking that color on me. I actually wore it to the Something in the Water Festival this year. I wore it out a few times for Sunday Fun Day with some friends, and it's a hit. I actually did an IG live where I showed you how I cut that wig live. If you want to check that out on Instagram, you're more than welcome to. It's by the same company as this. But for my YouTube girls, I just wanted to show y'all how I make this look more like this. And this is also from the company Curl Crazy. The 1B one that I'm going to show you is not from Curl Crazy. It's from a company called Annie Soul. But all these companies are on Amazon and of course everything is listed in the description box for your convenience. All right, y'all, and we're gonna toss on this mama right here. Again, this is from Amazon. This is what the cap construction looks like on the inside, which is the same for the 1B color and the copper color I just had on. It has this mesh cap over here. It does have these two combs right here, and it has adjustable straps in the back. I would say these are like, just like a type 3B kind of curl. And you see these tips, like they look blonde on camera. This is not just a number four, y'all. There's definitely like a hint of 30 mixed in through each of the strands here. Let me show you how we gonna make this shape, okay? I'm literally tossing it on like this. I'm pushing my wig cap back. You'll notice that my real hair has some burgundy in it because I've been rocking this burgundy wig for the past two weeks, but this is what we got going on, okay? When you throw these wigs on from Amazon, do not go out the house looking like this. Don't do it, okay? As long as you follow, me, as long as you rock what is at your hair, we're not gonna let you go out like that. The first thing I do when I assess this curly wig, I'm like, okay, look at the layers. How are they falling? To me, this is a good sign. This wig already has layers in it. Y'all can see that, right? Look at the layers. You see that the shorter pieces over here at the top, and then there are, there are longer pieces at the bottom here. I'm totally fine with that. The area that I really want to focus on right now is the bang part because that is what I want. I want bangs. Now, I could easily rock this actually as a half wig. Like, let's say you don't want to even fool with cutting your wig, right? I could rock this as a half, a half wig and put a headband right here and call it a day. I could easily do that and be just as satisfied. You know, slip down my hair in the front if I feel like it or leave my edges the way they naturally are. Whatever your preference is, but this looks super cute with a headband, but we're not doing that today. We're showing how to make these bangs pop. So, first of all, where are the bangs? <laughs> like, where are they? Oh, they're right here. And they're like, they're a little short, but that's okay, I can just shift up the wig a little bit. You see? So I'm just gonna start pulling some of the hairs forward. I'm gonna just take maybe like, maybe like this wide, maybe like an inch wide worth of hair and start pulling that forward towards the front to kind of carve out my bang. So you see what I'm doing here? And it's gonna look a little crazy because now you have long pieces and short pieces in the front, but that's fine. At the end of the day, I know that I, my crown is right here and I want to be able to touch here. I have found a center point. Make sure when you're doing this that you find your center point and that is where you work from. That is where your strands are coming from. I hope this makes sense. Make sure you drop me some questions if you don't understand, because I will clarify in the comments. And if you're already good at doing this like I am, help us sister out, because teamwork makes the dream work, okay? We are in this together. I've been doing this for years, so for me, I can do things like a little haphazardly, but I'm gonna try to teach y'all in a way where y'all can replicate it over and over again. But at the end of the day, just, this just takes practice. All right, so we got our crown. The hairs in the back here, I'm just smoothing them down. And you know what's cool about this wig? Like, it doesn't even look, like it looks natural right there. Y'all see that? Okay, bet. Oh, this is about to be cute as <laughs> You see me? This is 
about to be cute. All right, so the first thing I do is I take that long piece and I start snipping. I have no fear. There's no room for fear during these steps, y'all. Y'all just gotta do it like Nike, okay? You start snipping. For my newbies, do not snip too much. Snip just a little bit and then just keep going up until you get your desired length. I hope this is making sense until you get your desired length. I'm looking in the mirror over here. Ideally, I like for my curly bangs to stop right over here by the brow. I like for them to also stop at the um, tail of my eyebrow. So that's how I'm snipping right now. This is what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do this a little bit quickly. If you need to slow it down in your browser, there's a way to do that on YouTube. And of course, if you feel like you missed a step or I skipped a step, I'm happy to clarify in the comments. So you see how this is coming together. You see how the bangs are coming together. These short ones, you're gonna see me going like this just to kind of stretch them out a little bit. Now everyone has their own preference. I don't mind if my bangs look a little bit lived in. I don't mind separating a few of the pieces with my fingers. And when I separate them, I pull it straight out like this and then I come from the bottom here and I just start to separate. Now, you can use oil on your fingertips if you don't want it to look too frizzy. That's what I like to do with my human hair units as well. I'll make sure I have oil applied to my fingertips to diminish the chances of frizziness. A lot of it, y'all, is just trial and error when it comes to cutting these wigs. Seriously, have no fear. At the end of the day, this wig cost me what? $25 on Amazon? It's giving like a human hair look. And even the way it feels, y'all, this doesn't feel like rough synthetic hair. It feels nice. It feels relatively soft. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised by that because I remember <laughs> curly wigs back in the day Kinky curly especially would feel so dry and it's just like, yo, just because a wig is textured does not mean it has to be dry. But you know, the, the fibers have changed over the years, so we definitely have access to better quality now, which is nice. Do you see how I'm trimming this up? Now I'm coming over here, I'm continuing to snip just a little bit at a time. I'm literally doing like an inch at a time, y'all as I show you this because I just want y'all to know you don't have to trim off a whole bunch. I'm not here trying to trim length. I'm trying to layer. I'm framing my face. That is the goal here, framing. Ideally, when I'm framing it to my face, I'm looking for a V effect right here because that is what's flattering on my face. Every time I do it, I'm framing it in a V shape because I love the way it looks. And I think that's how you layer hair. <laughs> I'm not in cosmetology school or anything. I'm not like a licensed professional. But based on what I think looks good on people, I think that shape looks good on like everybody. Also, you notice that I'm always cutting in an angle. I'm always cutting in an angle when I'm trimming this. All right, yeah, I'm gonna speed this up a bit and I'll be back with my final thoughts. love this color on me this is like the perfect color that you wear if you want to get into color but you're a little nervous you're a little scared you just never did it before maybe you've tried it before but you didn't like the way it looked on you sis i'm telling you try this color try this color i remember the first time i tried this color it was identified as a 430 yeah so this is what this is looking like this is so beautiful on my skin y'all see that like let me get a little closer hold on do y'all see? Oh, like the color placement is, it's everything. Y'all, 
I'm so pleased with how this came out. So, so pleased. One note though, with curly wigs, they're not all created equally, right? So you'll notice that sometimes there'll be a lot of hair in the crown area. This one did not have that issue, but another curly wig did. In that event, you just need to cut it out. Don't be scared, y'all, just cut it out. But other than that, I don't have any complaints. One thing I did notice though, the picture that you see here, that don't look like the way that I got. It looks longer. Mind you, this does stretch, so I'm like, do they stretch the way this picture? Or is that even the wig? That's the only thing with Amazon. If you got a question sometimes where these pictures be coming from, it's unfortunate, but it's true. Cause they be stealing our pictures. But that's a story for another day. Overall, I'm really loving this wig a lot. Let me know how y'all feel. Tell me now Tuesday is on and popping. What? I know y'all see me. I feel like I'm glowing in this. In my little off the shoulder dress from Boohoo. Yes. Love it. So yes, y'all, thank y'all for joining me today. Let me know what you think about these wigs. Comment down below your favorite color. And also, let me know how you've been feeling. Shout out to everyone that participated in the $500 gift card giveaway. Really appreciate all of you all tuning in and leaving all of your thoughtful responses. Y'all have some awesome responses about some of your summer goals. Like, look at these responses. These are so amazing. I'm so proud of you all. It's really inspiring me reading them again. That's how great I feel about them. So I really just want to encourage y'all to keep going, keep pushing. We're halfway through the year. We got this. Let's do this. And if you're new here, you may as well subscribe to your girl. Check out some of my other videos on your way out. And I have way more content coming for you all. I can't wait to really sit down and do a little chit chat. That's coming very soon. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Three, what's the chances of you rolling with me?